Thank you for coming by my YouTube site on Christmas Eve. Hang on. I love that song. Anyway, Merry Christmas. It's happening. Can you believe it? Here's my buddies. <laughs> Thank you for coming by my site. I hope you are having a fantastic Christmas Eve. This is day 12 of my video tips for critics and anonymous and people that are helping expose the Church of Scientology. Uh, almost 10 years ago, nine years ago, nine and a half years ago, I woke up. I was in the Church of Scientology for 30 years. I woke up. Andreas, as most of you know, was very kind to me. And that was like a square peg in a round hole. It just didn't fit. He's this suppressive person. And yet he's being nice to me it was very very unusual to me and it took a lot for me to you know think about it and finally just think well I'm gonna at least thank him for being kind to me and that was it because he helped me and that was the beginning of the end so people all the time say oh you know so-and-so is in they'll never get out and I always say you never know how far they are I had spent 10 years in my own head kind of looking at this looking at that you know things were changing it was like I didn't know it I mean I knew it but I didn't really know it as much as once it finally all cracked open it was like oh my god and Andreas pointed it out to me he said you know you did it you did the work and I did I had I had spent 10 years reading self-improvement books and thinking wait a minute you know this is a cinch it's twenty dollars Scientology is like five thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand and I'm not it's that doesn't even work right and here's something for twenty dollars I showed you those books read those books they're really great books so when I left I I escaped out across the country literally they chased me all the way across the country I've made videos about it but I cannot thank Andreas Stacy Bob and Jesse who were there for me when I first left Mark Bunker who was also there and has made videos you know unbeknownst to me he made the first videos of me you know Magoo dancing in Boston which ended up getting me declared suppressive let's get that in here so you know they declare people suppressive there you go my suppressive person declare and on the back her only terminal is the international justice chief via the con the uh the continental gss chief oh yeah what a what a hokey deal but anyway besides these people my friends in los angeles have been a fabulous help to me since i've left all of the people on the internet the critics now anonymous i can't thank you guys enough i mean people are free because of what you're doing i know scientology is constantly covertly picking at you and trying to like move you on your way and get you out of the way and we don't really need them around here but you know what keep doing what you're doing because what you are doing is you're helping people wake up I mean, I told you the story about the girl who was inside one of their churches, an org, right? And she saw anonymous picketing outside and the critics, and she just said, you know, she was standing looking out the window, and she thought, I could be there. And she picked up a phone and said to her mom, can you please come get me? I want out. And that's not a single story. There are tons of stories like this where people are now leaving and free and that's because of what you are all doing and I can't thank you enough everyone who's on my YouTube site you have helped me a ton I love your different comments I love the PMs that people have sent me if I didn't answer you back it isn't because I wasn't interested I read all the PMs whether I respond to them or not is another thing because I have like I said 1400 I still have that are unanswered so I'll try to answer like 10 15 maybe 20 and then I just I, you know the phone rings and now I'm helping somebody the media I want to thank they have been fantastic this year 
on really getting some of the information out on the critical side. You know, we've got the new books, Blown for Good, that you can get at blownforgood.com and My Billion Year Contract at mybillionyearcontract.com. Those are both fabulous books that I highly recommend you get. I mean, things are exciting. They really, really are. But I want you to make sure to enjoy your life while you're doing this, okay? This is something I believe in having fun in my life. My mom raised me that way. It was like, Tori, take time to smell the roses. And she was right. I mean, time marches on. My dad died, had a heart attack when I was 50, when he was 52 years old. I was only 22 years old, right? Did they know he was? No. He had a perfect physical, totally healthy, walked in the door, had a heart attack and died. So you never know how long you're going to be with someone. Make sure to tell the people you love that you love them because, and tell them from your heart, you know, what you want to tell them because it's, it's very, very important. And uh, also, remember this. I, I hope you all, I love when Anonymous wears the Anonymous mask and the suits. I love that. Why? Because it's like an army. And like one of my friends, a lady that I'm listening to her tape said, you can kill an individual, but you cannot kill a choir. And when you all are in uniform and you're, you know, you've got your masks on and the suits, it is a choir, man. <laughs> and there's no way. And, but either way, I can't thank all of you enough. Everyone who has helped on various different things, it is fantastic. And look what's happened because of it. What a great year. And DM, I warned you, baby doll, in 2000. I said, there's an army out here. You don't know about it, but it's way bigger than you think. And I was talking about the critics at the time. Anonymous hadn't even arrived yet. So, hello, yeah. There's a lot of people out here, and you know what? We're having a good time. So it's Christmas Eve. I hope you are having a Christmas, a good Christmas Eve. Make it a good Christmas Eve. Do something fun. Enjoy it. Call your parents. If you, if you are disconnected from your parents, I cannot say it enough. Please pick up a phone and call your parents and tell them you love them. Your parents, I speak to parents all the time, and... It is the reason I speak out. It is one of the saddest things that these parents have lost their children to a church. Come on, snap out of it, okay? Wake up, get a grip. It's your life, it's moving on, okay? So call your parents, have fun, have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love all of you. Thank you again and again for coming. Honestly, you'll never know how much you've meant to me, but it's been a lot, <laughs> way more than a lot. Okay, peace out. Merry Christmas.